before I entered the program, I was kind of, I was in a rough situation. My dad had passed away and I was left with his apartment and our dog and I had was unemployed and I was really searching for a job. I went to public aid and cried to him and was just like, what am I going to do? You know, I don't want to lose all our stuff. And they sent me to the EPIC program and which led me here today. So um, upon them sending you to the EPIC program, what type of fears did you have before going over? I had, had a lot of fears, the like fears of losing all my stuff again. Fears of not being able to do it. I had to become an adult overnight almost, so I was really lost. So um, you went to DHS, is what you're saying, and they sent you to what facility? They set me up with an interview with Orlando. At, at Leslie Bates? Yes. Okay. We did some like placement test on that network. Okay, on Illinois Network? Yeah. So uh, could you kind of tell us about that whole process? It actually was really interesting. It taught me a lot about things that I, I would be good at, you know, a lot about maybe what I'd be interested in to go into for school or, I guess it taught me quite a bit, yeah. And it got me ready for jobs. Like I could, I didn't really have a problem getting the interview. It was when I went to the interview that I had a problem with and Orlando helped me a lot with practicing for my interviews and teaching me where to go on the work net to learn about different interview. So you had more of a, a nerve problem than actually getting interviews. Yeah. All right, so, um, so what would you say was the most helpful part of um, your training or work experience? Having someone there to help me, guide me through at points that I was weak at. Right, so, and you used the EPIC program to um, gain employment or go to school, what, what did you do? Yeah, well, I actually got a wonderful EMT job while I worked there where I transported kids to school and disabled to their doctor's appointments. And it was, a, it was a nice job. And then after that, I started going to school for what I am doing now, which is precision machining. And man, the opportunities in that are just mind blowing. So uh, what, what did you go to school and uh, what credentials did you earn? Um, I have two more classes, and I'll have my associate's degree in precision machining. I got a CNC certificate through the EPIC program, which led me to start my associates. I've now completed master cam, solid works, milling, turning. I have a lot of degree, little certificates now. Okay. So you, you basically used the EPIC program to put yourself in position to do what? To succeed. Uh, so what are your future plans for the future? I want to buy a house. I'm working on paying off all my debt, get my credit right where I could get a first-time homeowner. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you would like to share about your experience and uh, what the EPIC program has done for you? Yeah, they really did help me, and it's all about if you want it or not. You know, the resources are out here. It's up to you to step up and take advantage of them.